Makes me feel bad. Go away. Okay, where's that northern town at again? Uh, there it is. Can I enter this town without Henry? That would be cool if I could, but I don't think I can. You. You, you, and you. Yeah. I think you have to have a human character to enter town. Or not. Not this one, anyway. Okay, I can go downstairs with just these. Uh, I don't have any healing power apart from the herbs that I've purchased, which I think are down low because I haven't restocked them. No, I got 89. Never mind. I did restock them. This is probably a bad idea. They don't have a lot of hit points, and I don't have a lot of attack power. One person who does is my slime. In fact, I'm going to save state just because I don't want to get my ass handed to me. And let's find out if I'm going to or not. Well, not with this battle. Oh, you strike first? Well, that sucks. I can only stay as far as maybe this first area right here because I can't stray too far from can't stray too far. Oh, that's right, I want to use Musk, don't I? Yeah, I think so. Gertrude opens the pouch of Musk. Okay, oh, you can actually encounter Terracotta Warriors here. I didn't know that. What are you doing? Maybe you can't find the Metal Slimes in this area. The boomerangs should be enough to take out the Slimes. I'm just seeing if I can actually encounter a metal right here. Terracotta Warrior gets me a little bit worried right now, but um, I probably am just fretting for no reason. I don't think you can equip him, uh, recruit him, so... Probably not. Leveling up is fine for now. Hecatar goes to level 8, HP 3, and it's 6 agility. Okay, I don't think I'm going to get metals around here. It just doesn't feel like a metal area. Got a crit, though. Which is would be useful against metals. Um, let's, uh, This place I know you can get metals in, so let's just... Oh, look! Metal. Oh, he runs away. What a puss puss. Um, and then I get slimes. Yeah, everyone likes slimes, right? I can kill them easy. And eight experience points is not going to be enough for anything important. I have this, this, this combat worries me. They do have some spells. And they do, they can defend, which could make life a little bit hard for me. But I'm already halfway to max on some of these. So we should be fine. I do have antidotes just in case I get poisoned by these guys. I don't think they have a poison attack, but just in case they do. Bomber goes up to level 9, HP 4, and 3 agility, level strength. Champ goes up to 9. Yeah, as, as hard as these characters were to recruit, 1 in 32, they don't have good stats. They just don't. Okay, you missed. I wonder if Bomber, if I can do his body slam, let's see. Um, well, not you, I want you to attack. Body slam, there it is. If he stays, let's find out. Well, that's no damage there. Oh, he's not affected by it. And he dies. Weird Dance actually works on metals? Okay. Okay, body slam's a bad idea. I'm under the effects of Musk, too, so this is a little bit... This is going to be a little bit bit, a bit of a bitch. Um, can I escape this? Okay, I can. I don't think I can escape this one. Oh, I can. Uh, you guys again? Great. God, this musk. Sucks when you don't want it. Okay, there we go. 
I'm just trying to revive. You know, because reasons. Okay, instant death, body slam. Not a good idea. I actually didn't think body slam was an instant death move. I thought body slam was just a physical attack that might damage you. Like 50% of the damage you did on them, you get reflect, uh, you know, redirected on you. Like you take damage too, but I didn't think it was going to be an instant death. Yeah, 90 bucks isn't too horrible. Da -na 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 -na. Okay, uh, nope, we're good. I want to kill a couple of these and just... You know the frustration you have when you have characters that you know are shit, uh, and you just want to ignore them, and the only way to ignore them is going to be to just max them out and get rid of them. And that's kind of the position I'm in right now. So I don't think this episode is going to be me trying to recruit too much. Uh, more so trying to get these old recruits done with. And this is part of it. This is part of the whole um, Dragon Quest V monsters, if you consider it that way, because you're going to have to equip them and level them, as I've mentioned before, for any type of physical challenge you want to do with them, because they're so low level, they need to be maxed for them to even be viable. The one good thing about it is they all can equip bladed boomerangs. And I find that to be rather impressive. Because um, I didn't expect that. The Bomber, the, the Chomp, the, and the Cactar all have little hands, so I guess the Boomerang is okay. Alright. I'm still under the effects of Musk. Wow. Musk lasts a while. Alright, there you go. I should have Gertrude the Slime attack the metals directly when we encounter them. Unless he crits, he's only going to do uh, one or two points of damage. So. Okay, here we go. If one of them stays, or... Okay, one of them did stay, and I, I didn't do any damage that round. Okay, well, the owl bailer is going to die. Please stay. Okay, good. This might put me up to max on some of them. Hell, man. Well, maybe not max. Okay, <laughs> Yeah, I'm, I'm being really optimistic on that one. Four hit points, eight eight agility, and three luck. All right, Bomber goes up to ten with five hit points, three agility, five resilience. I mean, the strength and wisdom and luck. I'm just, okay, that's a decent level. Four hit points is not decent. That's somewhat decent. No recruit, of course. Don't worry, as long as your hero is of the level appropriate, which in this case is seven, he does not have to be in the party for you to recruit monsters. He can be in the wagon somewhere else. So you're fine. You know, you know, it's not like you have to have him there. Uh, a lot of people people didn't know that. They might think that you have to have him there. Okay, so this part I want Gutru to actually attack the metal slime. Unless he crits oh fuck. I was hoping. Uh, oh, I get my consolation prize, my seed of resilience. Yay. Makes me feel important that I get that. I haven't used any of them yet, but yeah, that slime put me up to almost a second level on each of these guys. Level 10 for Kakator. Uh, three. He learned sleep attack. It's not going to work on slimes, obviously. You know, um, Warcry worked in Dragon Warrior 7 on metals. I don't think it's going to work in this version. To stun the enemy. Okay, he got one damage on the slime. Oh, surprisingly, the boomerang has twice now hit. Please don't run. Yes! Even if I don't recruit him, I'm still happy that I'm leveling these guys up. Four hit points. Decent stat gains for that level. That's what I would consider average for everybody. Okay. Um, champ. So we skipped Bomber and went right to Champ. Ten agility? Wow. I was hoping I'd get him. Bummer. Oh, no. Gertrude, you have to attack Metal. There you go. Oh, but he left. Bummer. I'm not sure what to say right now. Um, I'm not going to probably cut any of this footage out. Because, you know, reasons... Well, it's because... I don't think I have to. Uh, he's going to run. Yep, I just knew it. I just felt it. I was like, yeah, he's going to run. Okay, the musk wore off, so let's use it again. 
You guys are along for the ride. You guys are along for the recruitment of all the monsters. And yep, I do sometimes edit footage. I did it on the last couple episodes because god damn grinding for the metals sucks. But and grinding for those pally wowies, don't even get me started, man. That shit was balls. That was a bitch. But you know, whatever. We're past that now, we're beyond that stage in our lives. So these guys are getting close to max out anyway. Hector's at level eleven. Some of them are leveling up really odd, considering they have the same amount of experience points now. Well, Bomber, I think, doesn't have the same amount of experience points. He's off by a little bit, because he body slammed. But, um, I, I would consider them basically the same. Body slam, bad. Now, it should have been called, um, Kamikaze or something. Just to identify it better, because when you look at body slam, it doesn't it doesn't seem like that's a very okay one damage at least it doesn't seem like that's a very threatening attack. Although the description would probably have told me otherwise. Uh, please, please kill him. Oh fuck, that was my shot, Gertrude. Ugh. And you fucked it up for me. Thanks. He's my he's my one token monster that has the chance to just kill the metals for us, but he's not doing his job right now. I mean, at least at least get one of your dual attacks to do some damage. They both stay, but not, chances are I'm not going to kill both. Can't exploit save states to keep them from running. So the boomerang missed the first one and attacked the second one. I'm surprised. God damn it! See, that's the frustrating part. That's why I'm grinding for metals is hard. Because they run, and that's why their odds should be lowered. Can you find fault with my logic? The fact that they always pussy out makes it to where it's... That in itself increases the difficulty. Oh, Wordle, thank you very much for your seat of resilience. I appreciate it. Your custom is most appreciated. Okay. Alright, well, I killed... I hit the slime. That's nice. Three times. Four times. Ooh, nice! Considering he was number two on the list, and no one leveled up! Wow. Oops, I didn't mean to go up the stairs. So we're at that stage where now a thousand is not enough. That sucks, considering you guys have four more levels to you max. And I didn't even level up after the next combat, either. That's okay, it's still going to take a relatively small amount of time. But not when they're doing four, five, and two damage to the Wordle when he defends. That sucks. Alright, well, I have a shot here. I actually was hoping that left one would run away. Just to make it easier on myself. Uh, and, but I was hoping. Now, nah, I'm hoping he'll stay. God damn it. Come on. One more hit. Thank you. Don't you feel special? Kind of, I do now. HP 5. And Bomber? Or we're going to skip him this time. No, we got him. Four hit points, and I would call that a good level game in stats. That's actually pretty decent. Four hit points is not decent, but Agility 9, that's good right there, too. Their, their, their last few levels seem to have decent stat gains, and it's probably because it's, just, it's maxing out their stats for you. Or whatever you, they consider maxed, you know, for those at monsters not maxed, as in, like, they're going to get 200, 255 of each stat. I mean, that would just be really cool. At level 15, they get 255 all stats. I mean, that would just be OP to the max. Ah, Fucking Metal Slime. It would be fun, but it would be OP. You, you only need... You only need 20,000 EXP to max your levels and max your stats. Wow. Yeah. That would be fantastic. Oh, look at the medals. Uh, you guys all have boomerangs, so... Oh, you critted them! And you can't recruit owl bears. That means I have a shot at getting the metal slime. Sweet. They must have rebalanced boomerangs to where they don't... Like, they don't automatically miss if the metal is second, because I'm getting a lot more damage on that. Like, it's doing that a lot more often than it's ever have in any other past iteration of Dragon Quest. 
So forget my ramblings that it was really rare. I killed both! Sweet! I'll take that. Kakatar goes to... He gets four hit points and good level stats. Oh, but he's the only one? And of course I didn't recruit the Metal Slime. I mean, why? Why would you let me recruit the Metal Slime? I mean, of course, I mean, that would just be... That would just be asking too much. Yes, I know. Gertrude's getting all the experience, though. I probably should have taken... He's the only one with the, he's the, only one with the earrings, so I have to bring him. I can't bring anybody else in here if it's just going to be monsters. Ugh. And since they're leveling up, their hit points are steadily decreasing. Oh, I mean, insofar as like their max HP is going up and their current HP is staying the same, so the bar looks like it's decreasing. It's that illusion. Okay, you guys. Uh, I need to kill the brownie pretty quick because you can recruit him, and I, I don't want to kill the slime. Okay, maybe the slime will stay. Maybe I'll kill him. If both... If he did stay, but we still have a chance of missing... No, we got it. Bomber, right? Yes. 12 hit points. That's a good level gain. And that's decent stats, too. But you're going to max out, dude, so you're not impressing me. 10 hit points is nice. Good stat gains. Oh, no slime recruit. Of course not. But it'd be fun if some of these owlbears dropped their iron shields, finally. It's the only reason I'm attacking them still, instead of trying to run from them. And Whirls, I like the Seed of Resiliences. I haven't used any yet. But I think I will, you know. Check out some of the max stats of some of these monsters, and if um, I notice that some of the Resilience are low, I might use it. But I, then I can't do actual comparison of stats if I start upping them with... That's going to be an herb. If I start upping them with, with seeds, then you can't do an official gain on them. You'd be like, yeah, how many seeds did you use on that, though, to make it look really cool? I don't know. Think about if you had a bunch of seeds and you maxed out people like Bomber. You'd have to max out their stats before they max out their level. Oh, I got my set of regs. Yay. So that way they might officially get some more hit points that last level. I don't know if hit, hit points aren't directly related to a stat, are they? Like Vitality it used to be. I don't even think Vitality is a stat in this game. I'm gonna have to look. I mean, you got Resilience, you've got Luck, you've got will, uh, Wisdom, Strength. I don't think... Was Vitality another stat? If so, fine. Oh, Metals. You're the main reason I'm actually down here. Now, why'd you attack the, the right one? I don't know, but... Okay. If all of you hit, which you're not going to... Yeah, the slime might go first. Oh, well, that one did, but that gives me a security net. Ah, oh, man, I was hoping. I just I just felt it that that might be a recruit. You know, someone says, look, if killing ten metal slimes is all it took, I'd have had them years ago. All right, I feel you. And nobody's leveling up. These last few levels are probably gonna take like five or six thousand EXP. Yeah, it's only two levels to max, so. Yeah. The musk has worn off, but then I get attacked. Alright. We're good. Of course, the turtle has to defend. He has to, quote-unquote, turtle. The slang for, you know, just when you turtle, when you, when you defend, yeah. Okay, Mr. Musk. Do your thing again. Had 75 when we started, now I have 38. Yep. That's how fast it goes. I wouldn't mind getting some monster munchies. Save me the effort of having to buy them, but then again, you can buy musk in this version. Oh, hi, slime. He ran. What a puss. We're almost at an hour. I mean, we've got 11 minutes to go for the hour. And I'm just trying to get another level up. Cactar. So you get hit points, 14. No. There's no vitality stat in this game. Strength, agility, resilience, wisdom, and luck. So upping your stats isn't going to up your max from hit points. I don't think there's an item, a drop, that increases max hit points. So even if you max your stats, their hit points would still suck. No point in doing it then. Okay. You guys are getting close to maxing out. 
This seems to be the only Dragon Warrior game I know where there's no vitality stat. Huh. At least the only one I can recall. Now you guys can correct me on that. I admit I haven't played any of them past 8. Because as soon as I heard 9 was going to be online, I lost all interest in it. And 10 is the same fucking way. So, you know, we have to add online functionality to all of our fucking games these days because, you know, reasons. If both of these attacks hit, there's a chance he'll die. They can have three hit points. They usually have four. Three. And no recruit. Bummer. I'm surprised more slimes haven't asked to join. Considering they're not that hard to recruit in the first place. Then again, the encounter of the slimes isn't all that common here. I get them every so often. But most time I'm getting the wordles. And... Owl bears. Wordle, there's my seed of resilience. <laughs> oh, will he stay? Or will I crit him? Nah, he won't. Neither one. You know, there's a chance. Gertrude has a good shot of going first. You're going to make the first strike? Most of you are going to run. Yep. Five of you did. I'm not going to level up from eight experience. I'm three experience, sorry. Although, Seed of Resilience time, maybe. Nah. Ah. <sighs> Feels good to have these guys almost maxed out. And, of course, Gertrude's level is, is going up kind of slow, but I expect that. Um, I need to get Dragon back in my party soon. He could have benefited from all the CXP. Get him to level 20+. plus. Uh, no, I'm wrong. Um, I'm wrong. Slimes don't get B-Dragon. Drakies get... Drakies get B-Dragon. Slimes get, like, Mega Magic. If you guys have been following this. And me saying I think slimes might get B-Dragon at like level 99. Nah, it's something like Mega Magic. It's a real strong magic spell. But you'll never see. Because you're never going to grind them that high. In fact, you won't even need to grind your heroes that high. Ever. The most I've ever grinded is level 70. And, okay, you can recruit the fucking walking corpse. So. I was thinking that we'd, we'd kill it first, and I was banking the fact that Gertrude would would kill, would, would attack the Metal Slime, but not crit him. It's usually a safe bet. But he ran away anyway, so all of my pondering and some um, hopes didn't matter anyway. I stopped going up the stairs, but again, I'm kind of asking for it by walking around in circles near it. More slimes. Yay. You know, why did the monsters attack you when all you have is monsters in your party? That, to me, doesn't make much sense. Because it's monsters. There's no humans down here. Yay, we killed the slime. No recruit, though. But we killed the slime. That's going to get us closer to level 15. And I can ditch these motherfuckers. So, um, how was everybody? I don't think I asked that yet. You guys have been around now for, well, this episode about 30 minutes. Um, I'm usually I usually divide these up into half-hour chunks because a lot of people don't like to devote a whole lot of time uh, on a YouTube. They don't like to watch a long play, so I'm not going to upload these in hour and a half segments. You know that would just be a little bit silly. I have a little notion. Oh, good, I killed him. I was thinking, nah, I'm not going to kill him, am I? Level 30, 6 hit points, 2 magic points, and... Eh, except for the agility, it's not that great. He learned he learned Zing! The slime learns Zing. The slime has a revive spell now. He's not going to learn Kazing. Or revive, as I like to call it. He learned Vivify. He's not going to learn revive. Um, because revive is a spell dedicated for... Healers, healies, King Cure Slimes... Uh, orcs, and I think you can recruit the you can recruit the king or the orc king, and I want to say there's like this this little bull dude that also gets it. I can't remember his name, but I'm I'm picturing him in my head, and he's recruitable too. I think at least in this version. 
Ah, walking corpse gives me more rags. Yay. Okay, I killed a couple metals. And I still haven't leveled up to thir 14 for Bomber and Champ. The metal slime, I hope you stay. Yay! Especially because Gertrude gets his shot at you. No one leveled up! Damn. Oh, one. And he, stick, he, stick, he sticks around. Sweet. Yay, there's my hit. A couple more hits, he might die. One? No. Gertrude, I'm counting on you. Oh, but he... Oh, but he stayed! Two rounds! He's almost guaranteed to die in two rounds. I wonder if Kakator is just going to go up. Yeah, he seems to have gotten those last two levels faster than everybody else. <clears throat> 13 hit points, 5 strength, and 9 luck. He learned Weirdest Dance. Not that it matters, I'm not going to ever use it, or him. Bomber goes up to 14. It's 11 hit points. And I would call that a good stat game. And Champ, 12 hit points. And what was that plus one I saw? He got one MP. Did I read that right? One MP. Anyway, eight resilience. Attributes. Yeah, he got one MP. That's kind of gay, if you ask me. Why well, give you one magic point? Unless right at the end he's going to get like 50 magic points. Yeah. There we go. And you guys leveled up just now to 14. So there's a good chance that um, it's going to take you a little while to get to 15. And I'm wasting EXP on Kakator because he can't level up. But you know what? I'm fine with that. I'm fine with I'm fine with the experience going to waste. I know, I'm cool. He's part of your group. He's part of the group of misfits that I don't care about. So it's okay if he gets more EXP than he needs. Because he's not going to get that much more EXP than he needs. Just got to get a couple more metal slimes. And I better check the divination and make sure 15 is their max, but I'm pretty sure it is. Oh, hello. Oh, hi, metal slimes. Oh, one of them stayed anyway. Uh, he's not going to stay. Or he will! And call me a gigantic liar, and I will crit him. And I will feel special about myself, but I will not recruit him. So my feelings of speciality have gone out the window. He stuck around. And I have done one damage to him. Yay. Two damage, three damage, and he dies. And wow, two slimes down. Bomber and Champ have not gone up. It's always that last level that's a bitch, isn't it? They just never want to level up. They're like, oh, I suddenly need 15,000 EXP to level up. What? It's your last level, dude, and it's only 15, and your stats blow. Oh, this is what I was hoping for. I should probably heal up. Please crit. He will one damage. I wonder if I'm going to kill him the first round. Nope. He's going to flee. Every time I say that, he stays, but then when I say every time it says that he stays, he's going to flee. So there's no... There's no there's no... Oh, they didn't level up again! That's the third slime! Come on, guys! I know you can do it. I got faith in you that I can max you out. And then ditch you forever. I think they don't want to level up the 15 specifically because they know that I'm going to ditch them and never look back. And they were afraid of that. But you can't, you can't avoid it, dude. You're going to level up. I'm going to make sure of it. And then when you level up, you're going to go back to the Monster Ranch. And I'm only going to look at you if someone wants me to use you as a challenge. And Walking Corpse drops more rags. I don't even want that Constellation Prize. There's no reason for it. They're not that defensive. Oh, I got both hits in. And the slime then fled. That could have been it. Yeah, that could have. Alright. Well, that slime stayed. But there's a good chance I won't kill him, yeah. Considering there are three turtles in the way, and everyone's got a boomerang. Yeah, figures. 